obviously private colleges have their responsibility. Uh, the private-public relationships and arrangements do have, uh, have, have had an exponential jump. You have the, the Conestogas, the Senecas of the world. They have um, some of the highest asylum claims in Canada. They're in the top 10, 7, 800 last year. That is uh, totally unacceptable. Uh, that spike is alarming, and that spike exists in, in, in the public schools as well. Uh, they have some work to do in terms of the quality of, of the education that they provide to these people and the people that they engage to recruit people abroad. So there's a responsibility to go around, Catherine. I just think that um, some of the really, really bad actors are in uh, the private sphere, and those need to be shut down. But there, are, there is responsibility across the board, and we're really to assume it. We just need the provinces in question, in this case Ontario, to assume their responsibility. The colleges are saying they were doing what you told them. The colleges are saying they're doing what you told them to do, bringing in people, international students, to help deal with the labor situation. What responsibility does the government bear in this? Well, look, we all have our share of responsibility, but there's a bit of, um, you know, Colleges are coming in and, and, and pleading excellence. They're now pleading innocence. They're now at the next step in looking at how they actually need to reform and get their own ships in order. Uh, if you look at some of the stats, uh, only 2% of, uh, of, 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 of the permits were going into nursing. They're going into other fields that are not exactly connected to the, to the, to the area of study. That's not an education system that the International Visa Program is intended to support.